Hey, everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over tonight's uh, NHL playoff hockey slate uh, for Daily Fantasy um, using DraftKings as the main uh, uh, as the main source of uh, lineups. And what I'm going to be doing is the same thing as yesterday. I'm going to be looking at it both from a hand-built perspective and from a perspective using uh, SaberSim to build the lineups. Yesterday, we were awfully close. I think I got top 10 in something we, we took I don't want to say took a stand. We ended up not playing that much Cal, uh, Carolina because they were really, really chalky. And uh, I don't think a single Carolina guy was in any of the top 10 lineups. So we did nicely and we had 50% Toronto and smashed with a bunch of them. We just didn't quite get the right combination uh, with Toronto's and, and guys from St. Louis and other teams. But I think we're right on top of it. So we're going to continue on with the same process. So we're going to go back and forth between um, – DraftKings and my projections again for today. Um, the Calgary Dallas game is, is interesting because it has the highest total by a lot. It's almost seven. And these others are between six and six and a half. But when we look at the projections, you're going to see that Dallas really doesn't really show up that much at all, which, which provides, you know, I don't know, kind of an interesting look at things. So we're going to do it the same way we always do. We're going to pull up my uh, true DFS projections, which is kind of a combination of industry plus my little tweaks plus back testing and things like that. And we're ranking them by sheets value score to start off with. And again, this is just to get that kind of 50,000 foot view of the slate um, to see which guys, you know, show up near the top. And with any luck, you get guys from the same team near the top. That's kind of correlation DFS 101 hoping that guys that are going to be on the same team that are on the ice together are all projecting well, because when one does well, the others usually do well. And the first thing I'll notice is that while, yeah, Calgary does have a couple of guys in the top, you know, top 10 rated, the, the guys that are dominating the board looks like Colorado, right? So it looks like Ranton in here and then Landis got here. And then where was uh, McKinnon and McKinnon here? So Rantanen, McKinnon, Landeskog, and even down to Kadri uh, is are extremely strong. Okay, so that's where I would kind of start my my lineups. Um, and you'll see also that this Ranger goalie just is hugely cheap relative to the other goalies. So. That's the way I would start kind of like my single entry is to start with probably the Rangers and, and Colorado's. And again, this is just based on my numbers, right? And these are going to change during the day. And there's one other little bit of variance that I want to throw in here. Um, I'll show you in a second, but if we start by putting in McKinnon and then Ranton in and then Landeskog, and let's say we throw in the, the goalie from the Rangers. One thing that you'll see is when you look at Nazim Kadri, who is the next Colorado guy, he missed on, uh, when did he miss? Uh, well, he missed recently. It says that he's a game time decision. So um, if he in fact, plays he's probably a good play i mean look you know but if he doesn't play then what happens is a couple of things number one jt gomfer will get a bump and second of all as it mentions here they might um well it actually doesn't say but what it's possible that they do is just reshuffle the lines it says it over here right yeah where maybe Rantanen comes up from the, the wing position in the first line to play with Kadri uh, as a center in the second line. So that is interesting because that might impact the correlative nature of, of, of the first line, right? So, so if, if you then just have McKinnon and Landeskog, you know, you can still play Rantanen, but it's not quite as, as juicy. Um, so that's something you definitely have to look for on the slate is whether Kadri plays and, and more to the point, what you think they're going to do with that information. Um, again, if it's just 
you know, gone for moving up, then, then just maybe either play gone for or don't worry about it. But if they announce that Ranton is going to move off of this line to the other line, then maybe this stack is not quite as viable. Okay. Um, so again, we'd start with Sabres and we're going to get to that in a minute. So as I said, we're going to start with Colorado. Let me see what other stacks look good here that maybe we can fill in. It's Colorado and there is the Calgary. But I think what I want to do is let's try to fade the Calgary. So if we try to fade the Calgary, then we're playing Washington, I guess, with Oshi, Ovechkin, Carlson, those three guys. Those look pretty expensive, though. Let's see if we can't get them in. So it's Oshi, Ovechkin, Carlson. Can you do that? Probably not. Let's take a look. Ovechkin. Oshi, well, it was Carlson. It was Oshi, what's his price? He's 3,000. So that leaves us with 3,000 per player. And what I would do at, at this point is if I liked, you know, if I like this original setup here, is that I would either go for a couple of cheapo one offs or more likely I would try to find somebody from Colorado or Washington to fill in one of those centers or, or defensive spots and just go for the four, three. So again, I would just pull up my projections here, take a gander. Where are we? And without giving too much away, I mean, you could kind of see I think you can kind of see what you could do here. Backstrom, 3,100. I mean, that really makes your life easy, right? And again, I'm probably not going to actually play this. Um, so, uh, you know, DraftKings just get mad at me. And then you just find some, you know, some dude. But obviously not from the from the Washington game. And that was where you can go play, you know, play your backland one off or something like that. Um, oh no, we need a defenseman, right? So if it's a defenseman, we need for 3K. Um, let me see. I guess I won't fill it in. I'll just kind of just direct you to There's a 5,500, there's a 7,700, 7, 4,300. What you might want to do is, is resort by positions. That's all that's left. Uh, so here's a 2,800 from Washington if you want to do that, or a 3,100 there. And I think you have to use from three different three different teams, so you can't even. I don't even think we can do this if we wanted to. Is this what we want? We want our love? Yeah. It's probably not going to even let me. So what you could do, it was it say here? It says skaters from three different teams. So you just have to make one, one change out of this. But, but that's kind of the idea. So Washington, Colorado, and fake Calgary. That could be one way to go. Um, so let's 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 have some fun. Let's let's do a, go into Saberson, and let's see if the Saberson build is going to come up with something similar because it almost never does. So we're going to upload our projections in here. Now you can do this directly from the site as well, from our site. And now we're going to build lineups using Saberson. We're going to use their general slider for 20 max, even though we're building 30 lineups. And we'll see what kind of stuff it comes up with. Now, again, this is two o'clock, like 100 hours till, until the games start. So 
probably a lot's going to change. And I think that cadre news is very important. And I think that's a decision you might have to make, like if he doesn't play. How to how to deal with those uh, the possible substitutions over there? Well, this is running. Um, I'll take another quick look at the board here and see if I'm missing anything. I did see the Oshi that guy we have is about ten percent on. That's good. Um, to Foley. Probably a good 3,200. You have Manjipan at 3,100. That's probably a big value play. All right. So, of course, as, as you probably could gather, when I actually run these things, you actually do get a bunch of Colorado. Wow. Usually, Saberson kind of fights me on this, but not today. Apparently, when you run the Saberson builder, you get a bunch of Colorado as, as well. So let's drill. And the other thing I wanted to say though, when you drill this down a little bit, is that when you sort it by stacks, it's giving me a whole bunch of three twos. That's, that's um, I don't know, man. It's tough to win like that. And you gotta be really dead on. And it's not like it's a one game slate, it's a four game slate. Uh, I don't know how much three twos I would play. The next thing I, I, I would do, though, is I would sort these by players. And I wouldn't want to play anybody from the fourth line. That's not going to be at least on a number two power play. The other thing I would not want to do is I would not want to play a guy from the third line that's also not on a power play line. So we're gonna X out these three guys, these guys that are on the third line, but not in any power play line. Is that good? Uh, looks, that looks pretty good. No, we do have a couple of strays here. So this is going to require a little bit of massaging if you want to do this, or you could just stick with these third line guys. Now I'm getting more of these fourth line guys. Ben Chirio, Chara, sorry. This is probably a good place to start. Um, while I'm here, I'm going to download these. But I want to see if I could. You know, first I want to change my lineups. And this is really early, so they're gonna change again, but I want to at least have something aside, a one a one a one lineup, <laughs> a one lineup dummy lineup to across 30, 30 buys. I want to at least have something just, just in case. In case I get called away, in case I get amnesia. I want to at least put something in that's that's decent. What I wanted to do is see if I can. Do it again and build a group, a rule group, a new group rule. Um, I don't want to search for a name. I want to search for, well, we could do this. And this is a lot of. Yeah, this is going to take a long time. I was hoping that I could do that group pretty quickly, but it don't just look like I can. But that's all right. So again, I would probably X out all these four, all these fourth line guys, 
all these third and fourth line guys that do not have a I would X amount or, or make max one or something like that. All these fourth line guys that did not also have a related power play. Um, so that's pretty much what I got for today. Um, what, what I find again interesting is 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 the, the amount that the Sabres and Bills agree with my hand build stuff, which is not all that often. So does that mean that Colorado's an especially good play? Nah, you know, life's not that easy. Um, but uh, it does come with some degree of comfort. All right, so that'll do it, I guess, for the early look at the hockey slate. And when we do we'll go live, I'm going to probably have another update to give. And uh, we'll see what the lineups look like. Then.